You awake? You are awake. Mr. Conby's up. Hey, buddy. I thought you'd be knocked out for the rest of the night. <laughs> Come on out and join us, will you? I'll save you some gumbo. Good to have you back. You gave us all a good scare. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Sorry for manhandling you, but you were being violent, you see. You stabbed Jeremy and then punched Dr. Gray. Are they... okay? Jeremy's a little strange, but everything's back to normal. Really? All thanks to you, Compat. You want to try standing up? Well, if it isn't the hero of the day. How are you feeling, Detective? Never better. How about you two? Hey, Jeremy, I didn't do too much damage, did I? Things are fine. Very quiet. What's up with him? Painkillers? No. You see, despite you having the finesse of a one-eyed butcher, you managed to lobotomize, dear Jeremy. I did what? It's actually quite impressive. It's not like I hadn't considered it myself. I just wish Jeremy could have been helped without reducing his personality to that of an oyster. But he's gonna live. Of course. As long as someone keeps feeding him, he'll outlive the best of us. Does Emily know about Jeremy's condition? Yes. She seems to be handling it quite well under the circumstances. Does she still want to take Jeremy away from Dorsetto? I will have to insist that you do. This is not that kind of institution. Jeremy, hang on for a little longer, okay? We'll be going back to New Orleans soon. Oh, good. I do so miss the city lights. Hey, Ruth. Glad to see you made it back to Dorsetto. You too, Detective. Make sure to stay for the festivities. It's no Mardi Gras, but it ain't bad. You seen Emily around? <laughs> I saw her packing some things into that old jalopy you arrived in about an hour ago. I'm sure she hasn't given up on you yet. Catch you later. Looking forward to it, Detective. Good to see you back on your feet, Detective. Have some gumbo. Thanks. I'll save it for later. Seems like everyone's in a pretty good mood. The Eve of St. John is the most important date of the whole year. It's the only day when the black goat of the woods tends to her young. I'm gonna go look for Emily. Don't worry about her. She wouldn't leave without you, would she? What are you looking for? Just keeping an eye out for the storm. Radio says it could be a wild one. You don't know where Emily is, do you? She's packing some of Jeremy's things. Said she wanted to take him away. I'm sure she'll come and get you when she's ready. I should probably get a move on then. See you around, compare.
All right, tell me, what the hell's about to happen here? Every year we have a little turn-the-page ceremony by the tree. It's symbolic. It's like life has its cycles of grief and happiness. You know, just like a tree facing the seasons. Things change, but remain the same. So this is basically New Year's Eve, but with a tree metaphor. Exactly. You're so smart. It's about starting again. I mean, who could use a positive message like that more than a bunch of lunatics like us? I get the feeling some of you think this year is going to be special. Any idea why? Well, we got some new words, thanks to your buddy Jeremy, and some other changes to the program. Let's just say, we're all in this year. That is one impressive tree. More impressive than you could ever imagine. So how does this all work? You dance around chanting? For the ritual, I mean? Stay and find out, detective. It might just do you good. You haven't seen Emily, have you? No, detective. I haven't. Hey, kid. What are you up to? Preparing for the ceremony. I don't want to disappoint Mother. What's your part in this? I'm the Cabri San Corn. It's very important. Only I can settle our debt. You know, I had my doubts. But you are in the right place, Grace. I think you might be right. For once. Everyone knows what to do? Y'all know the new words. Mrs. Thompson, we talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, we need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. Better even. Hell are there praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Ever Hear us, mother, and take pity on us. Hear us, mother, and take pity on us. Take pity on us, mother, and take pity on us. Ever there is praise, ever one abundance of the black people of the world. Hear us, mother, and take pity on us. 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 Stop! Are you crazy? Yeah. This year's what needs to happen, Carl Bell. Grace, stop! Stop! Shoot the crowd! 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 
Jeremy, come with me. Get over here. Jeremy, come with me. Jeremy, come here. No, there has to be a doctor, man. We're doomed. Jeremy, come on. I can't let that monster leave Dorsetto. I have to stop it.
The tech oh, What the hell was that? I try to tell you. There was so much evidence. Their devotion to the black goat was like nothing I've ever seen before. I felt so dumb believing any of it, but I'm glad I did. Are you okay? Everything is out of order. This isn't the way the story goes. I shouldn't be alive. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. How are you doing, sweetie? I kind of like it. You ruined everything, but I'm not mad. All right, you ready to head back to New Orleans? Come on, Jeremy. We're leaving. Can I come? I thought you said you didn't need saving. Don't leave her. She's important. Of course we're taking her with us. 